What's up guys, Scuba here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, trade video. I'm using my cell phone to do this video, so sorry for the poor quality. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. Um, first things first, I have a X-Men Sega Genesis game. Actually, let me sit down and do this. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, Sorry. Okay. Now, the manual on this game is damaged. It's not in the best condition, obviously, and I think it's missing the cover. But it does have the manual, the case, nice condition. And it do, the, the cartridge is in really nice condition, really glossy, great condition. And it also comes with the poster um, that came with the game all those years back in 1993. Okay. Let me... Oh. I should have been better prepared. Let me throw all the games up here that I'm going to trade. Okay. So let's do this. I have Call of Duty 3 for PS3. As you can see, the cart... I mean, the um, case does have the sticker residue on it with the stickers, but the game and manual are in great, great shape. Not a single scratch on that disc. Great shape. This is another uh, great shape video game, Spyro, A Hero's Tale. Really nice, nice condition. Looks almost brand new. And that is complete as well. Okay, Luigi's Mansion, complete. Metroid Prime, missing the manual. PlayStation 2, The Mark of Cry or The Mark of Cree, missing the manual. Looks like a cool game. I don't have a PS2. Max Payne, complete. Really nice condition. Dave Mira, Freestyle BMX 2. There's some scratches on the disc, but it works just fine. Pokemon Coliseum. It's missing the manual. EA Sports, MVP Baseball 2005, and that's missing the manual. And Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Really cool cover art. Really nice shape, but uh, missing the manual. Um, let's jump into some Virtual Boy games. These are all complete, and they're all... Let's see. The first one is Mario Tennis. But you know what? I'm probably going to hold on to this one. But this is actually rarer than the U.S. version. This is a Japanese version import. Really nice shape. Pretty much brand new shape. Vertical Force import. Um, I have one open to show you. This is the kind of shape the games are in. They all come with some pamphlets in Japanese, the manual which is in pristine condition, very sharp edges, the carton, obviously the box, and then the game, which are all in plastic and they all have the dust cover. And I've seen these dust covers go between five and seven bucks up by themselves on eBay. But really, I mean, you can't, I mean, that's, that's not easy to find, guys. And then I also have a Virtual Boy uh, U.S. version Galactic Pinball Solo card-only game. So let me gently put this up here. Put that away later. Um, let's see, some 64 games. <coughs> um, I have Doom 64 which this one might already be traded. Nintendo 64, um, Star Wars, I put the manual in there backwards like a retard. But has the manual. The game was a formerly a blockbuster game. Now it has, um, as you can see, it has the glossiness on it, which I think looks pretty cool. It protects the original label. But then again, I don't know if you remove that, if it will mess up the label. 
but as you can see. But the game is in nice shape other than that. Um, just depends on if you don't mind having that or if you can get it off or not. But it's a cool game. I really it's not a expensive game by any means. You could probably pick it up for five bucks. Uh, but it uh, comes with a cool case. I mean, I enjoy playing the game. Um, so, I'm not necessarily have to get rid of it, but I'm trying to collect all the original boxes. And then Off-Road Challenge with the manual. This is a performance case, which I actually like. You put a memory card in it and stuff. And there's the game in really nice shape. Now, these next few items might be in a trade along with this Dune 64. Um, I just not, I don't know yet. I'm waiting to get a reply. But the Flintstones, nice shape. Toy Story, nice shape. And then there's about 100 Pokemon cards, which I'm going to actually give these to this... Um, Johnson Boba, I think is the name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it or didn't even say it close right, closely right. But um, I'm going to give these to him. He's a Pokemon fan, and you know there's a oh, there was one card in here that was selling for like nine bucks on eBay, and another for like five dollars, and a couple for like two or three. But I'm not going to piece it out. And they're just some are in bad condition, some are in good. Um, but I'm going to give him to, those to him. Whatever trade he wants to make, I'm going to throw it in there for him because he's a collector. <clears throat> and then also have, this might be, this is not included in the trade yet, but he might want it. But it's a really cool Pokemon figure. Really nice shape. I don't remember the guy, the guy told me the name of it, but I can't remember. But I mean, I had to pick him up. He's got guns for hands. How freaking cool is that? I bet you this guy could damn take out the whole Taliban. Um, but all his arms, his feet move. I mean, everything moves in like really... I mean, it's a really nice figure. I've seen these go for about between 9 and $10, just the figures alone, but I haven't seen this one on there. But really cool. Really nice condition. Um, now I have... I have a, in a Super Nintendo... There's a little mark right there. I don't know what that is. There's some marks on it, but not too bad. Super Mario World um, for Nintendo... I'm looking to trade this, but I'd like to trade it for Mario 64. So if someone wants to do a Mario 64 for this game straight up, I'd, I'd love to do it. Um, really glossy, nice cover, um, nice uh, sticker. Just that mark right there in that one. But not too bad. Um, I'm going to keep Soul Blade. A couple PS1 games on these don't have the manual. But SpongeBob, Super Sponge, MLB Baseball 2003, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now, this one doesn't have a manual, but it has this cover art. I don't know if it came with a manual or not. But that cover art is just like a single sheet. Pipe Dreams 3D, complete. Ace Combat 2, complete. Really nice shape. Snow Cross. Complete, really nice shape. NFL Game Day 2001, complete, really nice shape. Got the Redskins, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm almost wanting just to keep this just because that's Sean Taylor right there, and he's the Redskins. But he probably could have went as down as one of the greatest safeties of all time, but that's the Redskin uh, who got murdered in Miami, the former Miami Hurricane. One of my favorite players of all time. I might keep this game just for the fact that he's on it right there. R.I.P. man. Rest in peace, baby. What a hell of a football player. Hardest hitting safety the game has ever seen. WCW NWO Thunder. Missing the manual. A few other items. And then I have two consoles. Um, this is a Zelda DS case. Phantom Hourglass. Pretty cool. Speed Devils Dreamcast game. This is a complete, really nice condition. Um, I'd love to play this game, but I just don't have a Dreamcast. Um, the only issue, but I'm sure you can get it off. I just haven't tried. It says DVD 7-1. Really nice shape. 
The only reason it says that is because that's they take the DVs out at this one Goodwill so people don't steal them. I would love to play this game. I just don't have a computer that's compatible. It's for 98 Windows. This is from 1995. Really cool Transformers Beast Wars game. Excellent condition. Really nice Star Wars 3 official guide. This is for the 360, the PS3, the DS, and the Wii. It was 19.99 new. The only issue is it has a little flap on the very end. Other than that, it's in really nice condition, really thick. I have a PS1 Slim. Nice shape. Um, yeah, doesn't have the cords or anything, but just the uh, console. But I can throw in a controller, a Bobo controller. Uh, Sega Genesis. This is the six, six, um, the 16 MK31, I believe. Yeah. Really nice shape. Um, doesn't have the cords or anything, but the lady told me it does work. Um, the only reason I'm looking to get rid of it is I'm trying to focus on just a few systems for right now. I can't afford to just... I mean, I'm collecting... If I buy every system and try to get all the games for every system, it's just... I'm not going to have a really good collection of one thing or two things. I'm just going to have a real sporadic collection. So I'm trying to focus on the 64 and the Game Boy uh, and the GameCube right now. Um, and then I'm going to turn my focus after that. I'll try to move into the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. So I'll pick up items, but I'll try to trade them. I also have... Actually, I'm going to keep this just because I'll probably end up using it for 64. But, well, unless someone wants it. Zelda, perfect guide. It's an acceptable condition from 2000. And then I have this poster. If you give me one second, guys. Put the phone down. I want to be gentle with the poster now. The poster does have a little bit of damage from when I stupidly tore it out. I should have left it in the magazine, but... I didn't. As you can see, a um, little bit of some tears on the very top from where it came from the magazine, but not too bad. But really nice poster. This would look great in a framed, like one of those frames from Walmart, hanging in your game room. But really cool poster. But that will come with the magazine if you want it. But guys, yeah, <clears throat> um, that's pretty much my stuff. I'm looking to trade. If you're interested, let me know. Just send me a PM or a comment. Um, again, um, a couple of these items might be, these three games right here in the Pokemon cards are, might be going to somebody. But, you know, make me an offer. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.